Hammer Time. What's up everyone, I'm Luke Storan, I'm 14 years old. Welcome back to another Hammer Time video. Today, I'm gonna show you to make this really cool looking desk out of recycled skateboards. Stay tuned, I'll show you just how I did it. So the first step here is to remove all the grip tape with a heat gun. Some is pretty easy to get off, others are quite a bit harder. But remember, the heat guns are hot. Can't touch this. Next, I just peel off the grip tape, and this one has the Board Garden logo on it. This is where I've been getting all my skateboards, so thanks, thanks everyone there. Next, we cut off all the tails of the boards, starting right on the other side of the screw holes, because that's the only part we're going to be able to use. So this is my entry into the Rockler Desk Challenge. I'm really excited to see what everyone else came up with. Then I started out cutting strips on the miter saw, but that didn't work so well. Next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to mix up some epoxy uh, and I'm going to dye it black so I can fill in any little gaps, errors, voids that we're going to have in the skateboard pieces because these are skateboards and they're not perfect. Some of them or most of them actually have all been broken so you just have to be, you just have to know, you know, how to go around those kind of pieces. So then after that, after everything had dried, I went ahead and flattened the actual tabletop on a drum sander over my grandpa's house. And this is a Laguna Supermax 1632 drum sander and we're using a Rockler Dustrite hose and Dustrite handle and all this stuff you can get at Rockler and it's really really great items. This drum sander made this flattening this panel just a piece of cake.
After I built the case, I realized I made them too deep, so I just cut them shorter with the circular saw. I would have had more sanding footage for all the, all sanding all the drawer pieces, but for some reason I was shooting in 50 frames per second, and if you're a filmmaker and you're making YouTube videos or any sort of video like that, don't ever shoot in 50 frames per second. This footage is horrible. Okay guys, check this out. I uh, was using this DeWalt sander to sand all the drawer pieces and the, the sides, the cabinet, everything. Whole thing. It's like a hard as a rock completely full. I emptied it before I started and now it's completely full. So that shows you that we had to do a lot of sanding. So yeah, that's what happens when you do a lot of sanding. Next it was time to build all the drawers and I just decided to use a pin nailer here and glue and corner clamps to do this and this worked out really great. Check this out. I built the leaning tower of drawers. Like it's really leaning. Might be a little hazardous. So I tried to fit the first drawer after doing everything off camera, adding the drawer slides, and that certainly did not work. It just didn't fit. So I ended up having to take apart the case because I had made that about a quarter inch too small, which was really annoying. And then I just used some leftover skateboard strips to widen it out, and that worked really, really great. Then I decided to add all the drawers into the cases. And this is my first time doing anything with drawers. Um, and actually, it was pretty challenging to start with, but I really ended up getting the hang of it. When you do your next project with drawers, Rockler has all the drawer slides you'll need for your next project. Next, I sta sanded all the drawer false fronts, and which I made all off camera because it was really late outside, uh, really dark outside, and I could not film anything because it was just way too dark to film. Then I attached them to the then I attached them to the front of the drawers. Okay guys, starting to come along here, now we're going to set it on fire.
So I used Wipe On Poly for my finish and it worked really, really great. I really liked the way it came out. But there's a couple different finish options you could use. One would be Simple Finish from Maker Brand, which I'll leave a link to down in the description and that looks really cool. So I'm gonna have to try some of that out. I've seen a lot of different people use that and it looks really cool. So definitely gonna have to try some of that out soon. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Once all the finish had dried, I could get to start to attach all the drawer handles. And I only got a couple, only like two of these on camera, but it was really easy to get these all installed. But the screws that came were a little too short, so I had to counterbore it. All right, guys, this turned out really cool. It was, it's like my first time doing any sort of project like this, and there's recycled skateboards on top, never done that before. There's uh, flamed pine trim, never been done that before. I've never even done drawers before. I had the hardest time installing drawer slides because I had no idea what I was doing. But with a couple help, with a little help from watching a couple different videos on how to do it, nailed it. Um, I still have a lot to learn on that though, trust me. And then all the fronts are maple. And I just had some leftover plywood around that was maple. It's like a 50 lot sheet of plywood. And I had like a, like a quarter of it left from a bookcase I, bet I made. And I thought, well, this is a good project to use it on. It looks great, and uh, I really like how that came out. But this is my first time doing anything like this, and I have to admit it was very challenging, the whole thing. But this is a desk challenge, so, you know, that's okay. You know, it's, it's supposed to be challenging. And then, uh, if you like to support me or anything like that, make sure you check out my affiliate links down in the description. And I'll leave a link to everything I use down in the description as well. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I really like how the way it looks, and uh, it's going to be really cool to have this. All right, you guys. Until next time, happy building.